Hello everyone. I'm just sharing the screen here. Now this is for the auctions event for this year. And it's going to explain some of the things that we do in this GCSE music course. There's three basic reasons for picking music or any subject for GCSE. Choose music because you want to follow a career as a musician. Choose it because you want a job in the music industry. Or choose it because you like it and you're good at it, but you don't want to have a musical career of any sort. Now, we're going to look at the, the third one, first of all. Most of you will think you don't want a musical career, which is fine. But you do need to do up to nine subjects in Key Stage 4, so pick what you're good at and what you enjoy. You'll find it hard to concentrate on a subject if you don't like it. If you enjoy it, you enjoy music, don't rule, don't rule it out. Here are some past pupils who chose music but didn't want to follow a musical career. Eamon is a classroom assistant at De La Salle College. You all know him. Uh, you've seen him around the school. You may even have him in your classroom. He did GCSE music. But he's a classroom assistant. He didn't want to be in any kind of a musical career. Oren, Oren's a qualified nurse. Cormac is actually a chartered surveyor now. He's got a promotion recently and he's over in Canada. Christopher on the right there is a makeup artist. He works in Sainsbury's as well. And Michael on the left, the guitarist there, is over in the Boucher Road in a car showroom. Matthew is a teacher, but not he isn't a teacher in music, and he also works in the ambulance service. Keelan there, he's training as a social worker. And there's Andrew, he's a pilot. Now, all of those past pupils realised they were good at music, they enjoyed the subject, and they knew they needed all of their GCSEs to go on the pathway that they wanted to do. Reasons one and two are a bit easier to explain, because you either want to be some type of a musician, or you want to do something in the music industry or performing arts. You don't need an explanation as to say why music is important to you. Here's some more of our past people to have a career as either musicians or in the performing arts. Liam is now working in the world of theatre as a producer and director. He works in the Grand Opera House in Belfast. Nathan is a producer and director also in the world of theatre. Matthew has his own lighting production business. Declan is a presenter in Q Radio. He now does the breakfast show on a Monday to Friday. Eamon is touring with Sinead O'Connor and Enya. No oil paintings. Three of our pupils, Chris Kelly, Sean Dunn and his brother James, started this band in 2013. They've played in the Open House Festival, the Stendhal Festival, the Sunflower Festival, amongst many others. And they've also recorded with Joss Stone, who won the ITV series Behind the Mask last year. Padraig got used to singing on stage in school, and now he performs regularly, including at the City Hall, and he regularly releases songs. Chris there, he performs regularly and he was a star singer during lockdown, giving free concerts in his neighbourhood. Joseph is a music teacher in Dubai. So what about what do you actually study at GCSE? We follow the SIA examining board and you do composing, performing and listening and appraising. Now, you can read that there at your own time. But you will have the opportunity to develop the knowledge, understanding and skills needed to communicate effectively as a musician, develop awareness of music technologies, reflect critically on your own work and the work of others, and then you either progress to further study or go on to employment. And it's not just for classical musicians, it's for musicians you might want to be into DJing or you might be into Irish traditional music. Music's for everyone. Performing. You have to, at the end of fifth year, complete a solo performance and an ensemble performance. That's part of a group. It can be on any instrument like guitar, piano, tin whistle or turntables and DJing. But you need to be conscientious about this and you have to keep up your weekly practicing. Appraising simply means where you learn to discuss and appraise and be a critic of your own work and of others' music. Composing you do in school on the max. You'll compo compose two original pieces of music. One is free choice and one is in response to a stimulus. We complete this in school on the max. You'll build on the knowledge, understanding and appreciation of music gained through components one and two. This is your listening side. There's four areas of study. Western classical music, film music, music traditions of Ireland and popular music from 1980 to the present day. 
Now you are studying two of these topics in year 10. At the minute you're doing um, pop music and soon you're going to be doing film music. Last year we studied music traditions in Ireland. Everyone learned to play tin whistle in year 8 and 9, so you're already a performer. Maybe you play guitar, ukulele, banjo, or you like turntables and DJing. All these and many more are options for performing in GCSE music. Now, I'm going to show you a little clip from one of our uh, head boys, or sorry, one of our uh, student council. And here we go. I studied music at GCSE, even though I do not wish to pursue it as a career choice. I want to become an airline pilot, and for that, I need nine GCSEs, and music was a natural choice for me as I really enjoyed what we studied in Key Speech 3. I liked the fact that our course was partly practical based and found the areas and topics studied very interesting. The course was very different from any other GCSE I was studying and I would certainly recommend it to anyone. So, that's our presentation from the Music Department and Dilla College for this year's GCSE options.